guys, welcome to the second video in my 8 Days of Christmas series. I'm so excited. If you didn't see the first video, I'll link it down below. Um, check it out if you want. Today's video is one of the most frequently requested videos. I get all the time, I get asked to do a video on this, like, all the time. Every time I ask for suggestions for videos, this is the thing that people are like, oh, please do a video on this. And that is motivation specifically for school. Um, whether you're in high school or university or college or whatever. I hope that I can be helpful and I feel like making this video now versus like making it a year ago, I actually have some good advice because I think I have done a video kind of on a similar topic before but you know, today we're going to make it happen and I hopefully will be able to provide you all with some decent advice that you can take to your schooling whatever you're doing. I don't know, okay, let me just tell you a little story about myself. The kind of student that I am, because there are definitely like different kinds of students. I would say that I'm like fairly naturally smart. Not even to toot my own horn, but like I think naturally like I'm fairly smart, okay? Maybe not even so much like book smart, but I'm very much like common sense smart and you might be like, yeah, it's common sense for a reason. Well, common sense ain't so common, people. Um, I have good, like, street sense and stuff like that. As for, like, schooling, I've always done, like, above average. But I've always worked really hard. It's not really, like, natural for me to do really, really well. If I wanted to do really, really well in high school or in university, like, I had to work really hard to get there. I'm very, like, intense about my schooling. And I've always taken my schooling fairly seriously. Um, but I will tell you that I definitely got to the point, especially in my university career, where I was just very much taking it for granted. And I sort of saw it as like a means to an end, something that I had to do in order to get to the next point in my life. And I think that that is a huge mistake. I see so many like university, college students doing this where they just, they don't take their education seriously or they don't really appreciate it or understand how like lucky they are to have it and so my first tip to be motivated is to have gratitude and I know that might not seem like very like helpful to some of you but if you have gratitude for your schooling and your education you do work harder not everyone has the opportunity to go to school to get an education to potentially want to have a job that pays really well like not everyone has that opportunity and I think once you're in university or college sometimes you forget that and you take it for granted and you think like oh well everyone has their degree everyone has their bachelor's everyone has a PhD like hell no like that is just not the case at all and I think that if you're in school you should be really grateful to be there let me tell you where this came from because as I said when I was in my second year of university I got to this point where I was like very much like just kind of going through the motions. I just wanted to kind of like get through the schooling and like get to the end of it all. Um, and then when Patrick and I moved to Boston, as we did in the beginning of this year in January, and I left my schooling behind for nine months, I felt like a new sense of gratitude when I came back to it in September. And so it really put it into perspective when I came back to Canada and I was signing up for courses again that this is not something that everyone gets to do and I need to be grateful for my opportunity. I also have done something for my university career that a lot of people don't do, but that I would look into doing is contribute to your education financially. So if you're just going, your parents are paying, your grandparents are paying, whoever's paying, I would really suggest and highly recommend if you get to a point where you're kind of just like not really taking your schooling seriously to financially contribute. Because obviously as a student, I don't make a lot of money. But I've paid for my schooling, single-handedly, yes, I know, good job, Emily. And I'm very lucky in that way that I've been able to do that because for the most of my schooling, I was living at home, now I'm not, but you know, at the beginning I was. And so I have the ability to do that. But even if you can't, even if that's not a possibility for you, contribute something to your education because I do think that that makes you more accountable for what you put in and how much effort you put into your schooling. In like my last couple semesters at my school, um, before I moved, I definitely like skipped class fairly often and now I, there are definitely some cases where I would skip class, obviously there's sometimes like terrible profs and like, you know, you're not going to that shit, but now I just, I just wouldn't, like, you know what I mean, you're paying for it, it's important to be there. The other thing I would 
recommend to you guys to think about is making some small goals because I think when you start university or college and you think about getting a degree it seems like really far away and like it's going to take a lot of time and you know it almost seems unattainable like it's just so far in the future that you can't really even imagine it and so I would really just suggest making small short-term goals for each semester that you're in school set a goal and work to achieve that because it makes everything fly by so fast. I cannot believe that I'm almost ready to graduate university. I feel like it was just yesterday that I started and I can't believe that, you know, I will have a degree in a year. You know, it's just crazy to me. And not only that, but also looking into your future and like seeing what you want in the future. What is a lifestyle that you want to have in the future? What is you know, a job that you would like to have in the future? What is something that really fascinates you that you, that makes you want to learn? I think honing in on those things really makes it easier to get through school. It keeps you motivated. And I think that at the end of the day, being 100% motivated all the time is just not attainable. We're human beings, especially when you're, you're young, like there's so many distractions. So give yourself just like a little slack, give yourself breaks. Um, don't stress so, so much like that you're gonna freaking die, which, I have done so much stressing in university and I think I still do and I don't I haven't figured that part out yet and I think being stressed and whatever is just kind of part of the experience but I definitely am so grateful for my university experience and I think that you know if you're studying even if you're in high school like just realize that a lot of people don't get the opportunities that you have right now. That is basically everything I have to say about motivation. I hope that was helpful. I'm not the type of person to like throw out like study tips at you because truthfully I have not figured it out yet. Um, and I also believe that we're all like different learners so the way I study probably won't help you or it could but it very well might not. So I hope this motivational video was good. I know right now it's finals for a lot of people too. I My finals finished early this semester so if you're studying just keep going, you're almost done. And if you're not studying, girl, relax. Enjoy life. I hope you all enjoyed this video, found it helpful. And my third Eight Days of Christmas video, I actually don't know what it's gonna be yet. So like I said in the last video, if you have any suggestions for the next video, um, let me know down below. I will see you all in day three of the Eight Days of Christmas. And I hope you all enjoyed this. Bye!